We all learned one thing back in school. School sucks. And now we finally have a president who's willing to do something about it. We're going to cut Department of Education. Trump has proposed $9.2 billion in cuts and appointed Betsy DeVos as Secretary of Education. She's an outsider who never studied in a public school, but she still knows all the threats that students face today. I would imagine that there's probably a gun in the school to protect from potential grizzlies. But some public school-loving nerds like John King Jr. don't approve of the current administration's education plan. He ran the Department of Education under President Obama and is guilty of implementing the Every Student Succeeds Act. John King Jr. thinks we need more school. But today we're trimming the fat. Unfortunately, the Trump administration has proposed very significant cuts to education, but I think that's a mistake. So we're getting this thing nice and lean. Lean and mean like a teaching machine. We've made a lot of progress over the last eight years. For example, we have the highest graduation rate from high school we've ever had as a country. Way to go, Trump. In the last administration, we made a lot of progress, and, and hopefully we'll continue to build on that Cherry progress. on top. Sometimes you need to bring in the closer, you know? Well, You're Eckersley. Hopefully what we'll do is we'll keep investing in You're public shilling. schools and continue to make progress. You're Tom Brady. Tom Brady's a quarter. I'm quarter. saying. Shut it. Public schools are the worst. Don't believe me? Just read any public school bathroom wall. But John King loves them. I had great teachers in New York City public schools who made school fun. For example, we did Shakespeare in elementary school. We did a production of Midsummer Night's Dream. It's amazing. Why should I have to fund your donkey fairy sex learning adventure? <laughs> Those kinds of learning opportunities that prepared me to be successful later academically. Teaching Shakespeare? A hey, school. Speak English. Luckily, DeVos is proposing to cut everything that isn't absolutely necessary. Show me where the budget cuts touch the children. Yeah. So one of the proposed budget cuts is to get rid of funding for after school and summer programs. So this is after school, so. Go home, make a friend, get a job, right? There are proposed cuts that would have a negative effect on art and music. Nobody really needs to learn how to play the recorder for an entire year. <laughs> it turns out that DeVos has proposed cutting over 20 programs, which I think is awesome. But King thinks that the current administration's policies are assaulting the American dream, especially because of something called a voucher program. Think of vouchers as coupons funded by the state. This is Jimmy. It costs $8,000 to send Jimmy to a public school. But with vouchers, Jimmy's family would get an $8,000 credit, and they could use that money to send him to any school of their choice, even unregulated private and religious schools. Essentially, the money follows the kid. My objection to vouchers are two things. One, I worry about taking money from public schools and sending it to private schools. But two, I worry that vouchers are often unregulated. So you could have a school that has a curriculum that teaches things that are factually wrong, and that would all be fine because you don't have government oversight. So public schools have to adhere to annoying state standards, but these for-profit schools don't need to follow a set curriculum or teach facts? I smell opportunity. J School. What we have here is, this is the school. See, we have gun turrets on the corner. Case bears come. Kids will be standing at 11 o'clock every morning for the Pledge of Allegiance. They will remain standing when they sing God Bless America, and then again at 1.30 for Kid Rock's American Badass. <laughs> some of the curriculum, some of the books. Climate, same. A look at boring weather. Lock her up, the problematic women of history. Th this seems terrible. Do you think this would turn a profit? Only if people weren't paying attention. <laughs> I'll bank on that. But if you do choose a public school, don't worry. DeVos is wiping out all kinds of government regulations, like civil rights protections for LGBTQ students and students with disabilities. But this bummer McGlass's face worries these rollbacks will hurt students' ability to learn. What we want is schools where every kid feels like this is a place where I know I belong and where I know people care about me. Kids are tough. You can do two things at once. You can learn and be bullied at the same time. It makes you even better. Here, insult me. I bet I can continue. No, I don't want to insult you. I had my writers write up some insults that you could throw at me. I'm going to show you how easy it is, all right? Insult me. See if it affects me. 
Your ears are down too low on your face. <laughs> too low on my face? You have an undesirable gum to teeth ratio. What? Just, I'm fine. That doesn't. It's fine. It's, it's, so you don't like how this feels? I, I'm fine. Can we just go back into. Um, what we were talking about. Uh, explain to me why trimming the fat isn't a great idea. Trimming the, the fat, if what that means is trying to take resources away from schools that desperately need them, that's a mistake. Because if we invest in those things, students will be more successful, they will get better jobs, they'll be able to better contribute to the economy, and... Is it... Is it, is it the thin lips?